Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Coach Jacob, and today we are going to be going over ground movements, specifically the forward bear crawl, the backwards bear crawl, and the sideways bear crawl. We've also got some fun challenges for our level 2 and level 3 students. Now, before we get started, we've got to warm up. Today, we are going to be warming up our wrists, our shoulders, our hips, and our ankles. So follow along with me, and let's get warmed up. All right, everyone, let's jump into the movements. Today, we're gonna to start off with forward, backward, and sideways bear crawls. Now, whether you're training inside at home or maybe in your backyard at a park nearby, all the movements we're going over today, you will be able to do no matter where you're at. Here is the end result of the forward bear crawl. Before we get there, we are gonna practice crawling on our hands and feet in whatever way we can traveling forwards. The goal here is just to get comfortable with the movement of walking on all four limbs. Now after we get a little comfortable with it, our goal is to take our center of gravity and to lower it so that we are closer to the floor like this clip here. And after we get really good, our bear crawl should look like this. So why don't you go ahead and pause that video and practice a little. Once you're done practicing, come on back because it's time for backwards bear crawls. This is what it should look like when we're all done. In the meantime, just like with the forward bear crawl, we are going to start by practicing going backwards on just our hands and our feet. 
goal here just to get comfortable with the movement. After a little bit of practice, we're going to try the same exact thing by lowering our center of gravity and pushing back with our shoulders to travel backwards. Once you get it really good, here's what it should look like. So you know what, let's just pause the video and practice a little more. After you've had ample practice with the backwards bear crawl, it is time for the sideways bear crawl. Now we don't do this one as much in parkour because later we're going to figure out a better way to travel sideways, but for now, let's give this a shot. Similar to the forward and backward bear crawl, the end goal is to get as low to the ground as possible. Next up, we've got some challenges. After you've learned the movement forward, backward, and sideways, I'd like you to take it to some stairs. Now if you're indoors, your stairs might be a little steep, so I want you to be careful. Maybe have someone there to catch you if you fall. But if you can find some stairs outside like these ones that are nice and shallow, it's a great place to practice the forward, backward, and sideways bear crawl, up and down. Earlier, I had mentioned a better way to travel sideways. This is it. It's called the QM Crawl, and this is what it should look like when we're all finished and practiced. Now, to start things off, we're going to get down in a squat, we're going to place our hands to the side of our body, and then we're just going to try to walk our feet to the side. From a walk with the feet, we're going to turn it into a small hop, and we're going to try to travel sideways. To get a little more in-depth and specific with the technique, here's what we're going to do. Whichever direction I'm traveling, let's say left, I'm going to reach with my opposite hand first. I'm going to go right and then left, just like in the clip here. Try practicing one hand right after the other so that when you put it together, it looks like this. Now stop and practice. Just like with the movements before, we are going to go up and down some stairs. Start by taking it really slow, especially if you are practicing at home with those steep stairs. Notice I go one little stair, and then I start to go up more stairs at a time. Take it slow and then challenge yourself. Next up, we've got the floor Kong. This is what it should look like after we've got it all practiced. You can do it indoors, outdoors, anywhere you'd like, as long as you got some floor. Now the first thing we're gonna do to learn this move is get into this position here on my hands and feet and do a small hop to get my feet as close between my hands as I can. After I get a little more practiced at it, I can try to lean both hands down in front of me at the same time, like so, and then walk or hop my feet between my hands. Last up, my goal is to reach and jump to my hands and then bring my feet all the way between my hands and stand back up. Just like earlier, we've got the challenge up and down the stairs. Now going down can be really, really tough, so I would only encourage my level three students to give this one a try. Another fun challenge is to try to go up as many stairs as you can with your floor kong. Now, after we've got all these moves practiced, here is a fun way you can take the QM crawl and try it in each different direction. Go ahead and give this one some practice. Pause the video after this clip to practice anything that you still need to work on before we move on. Last up, we've got some fun movement challenges. Here is a way that I like to combine all the different QM movements into one flowy line. Now our next movement challenge is to take any of the moves that we worked on today and combine them with some of the moves that we already know. For me, that is some rolls and a little coffee grinder. Let's combine some of the movements we learned today with some non-ground movements, like vaults. Now, after today's training, you might feel a little bit sore. If you're looking for ways to get stronger, specifically with your shoulders, I would really drill this backwards bear crawl and emphasize the pushing motion, like in this clip here. Now let's say your wrists were feeling a little bit sore. I've got two wrist workouts for you. The first one looks like this. I'm going to be on my hands and my knees with most of the weight leaned back on my knees. Think of this like push-ups, but I'm just lifting my fingertips. You can start with all your fingertips and then slowly, slowly take one finger off at a time. Now the second exercise that I have is the same thing but my hands are going to be turned around. This one is especially tough so take it slow and steady. On top of building strength, let's build some hip flexibility. We're going to bring our knee all the way up to our chin or as close as we can get it, 
hold it for a moment, then bring it out to the side like so, hold it for a moment, and then we're going to bring the leg back behind us, straighten it out, and lift. After we bring it back down, we're going to switch knees and do the same thing on the other side. Now that we're all finished with our lesson for the day, we're going to cool down our bodies. How we're going to do that is two quick stretches, followed by everyone's favorite, corpse pose. All right, everyone. During the cool down, there's going to be no music, no noise. Just follow along with the stretches and the corpse pose at the end. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.